One of the most powerful aspects of JAMA is the way it modernizes the review of project information. Before JAMA, conducting reviews meant sending out huge documents or spreadsheets, then collecting input through email, meetings, tracking changes, and so on. Then someone had to pull it all together in one final approved version that hopefully included all of the feedback. In JAMA, we can send out smaller pieces of the project faster and collect all feedback in one place. The Review Center lets you control versions too, so as items change during a review, everyone sees the changes and works with the right version. Whether you are a reviewer, approver, or moderator, the functions you need are there for you. There are more options and processes than we can possibly cover in this brief introduction. Check the other available resources to learn more. Let's start with using the Review Center to maybe review some stuff. When you're invited to perform a review, you'll receive an email like this one, initiated by the review moderator. Click the link to open the review in JAMA. On the left, the summary, table of contents, and search sections help you get around inside of the review. On the top, the tools and actions let you do the things you need to do. The main work window displays the items in the review. To let people know what you think, add a comment. You can also comment directly on just a portion of an item by using the mouse to select that portion. If someone else has made a comment, you can read and respond, keeping the conversation going. When you're done, check the item off to record your progress. If at any point in the review, the moderator sends out a new version of an item, you'll see this calendar icon next to the changed items. Click the calendar to open a comparison that shows the changes. If you're an approver, in addition to reviewing items, you will be expected to approve them or send them back for additional work if they're not quite up to snuff. The review process for reviewers and approvers begins when the moderator sets up the review. If you are not a moderator, you might want to skip the rest of this video. If you are a moderator, or you just want to see why it works the way it does, please stay tuned. Moderators can start a review by selecting New Review to launch the wizard. First, select the information to include in the review, then add a review name and deadline. 